Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of our registration and login system using Node.js. What I want to do now is work on the registration form. All right, so when we submit this, it's going to make a post request to users slash register. So let's go to our routes folder and go to users.js. And I'm going to copy what we have here. Paste that in. And let's change this get to post okay uh, and then this is good we're going to leave that and let's get rid of this and what we want to do here first we want to get all the stuff that's being submitted and put it into a variable so i'm going to paste this in all right so we're getting the name email username password and then the password to field all right now just to test to make sure it's working we'll do console.log and let's log the name. All right, so we need to restart the server for this. All right, and let's go ahead and just say test and submit. And down here you can see we're getting test. All right, so we know the form submitting correctly. Now what we want to do is we want some validation. All right, so let's say validation. And the way we do this is we're going to say uh, rec dot check body and then in here we want to pass in the field that we want to check in this case let's say name and then we want a message we'll say name is required and then we need to add on the function that we want for validation in this case we're going to say not empty all right so that just checks to make sure that that's actually filled in so there's other validations that we'll be doing but I just want to show you how exactly how it works so what we want to do now is just say var errors. We're going to set that to request dot validation errors, which is a function. And then we're going to do an if statement. All right. And we're going to say if errors, then, whoop, then what do we want to do for now? Let's just console dot log and we'll say, yes, there are errors. If not, console.log no all right so let's test this out I'm gonna have to restart okay so register and let's leave this blank we'll leave the name blank and submit and you can see we get yes if we put something in and we submit we get no there's no errors all right so it's as simple as that now what I'll do is I'm gonna paste in the rest of our validations all right and let me just widen this a little bit so this one here we're we're, we're making sure that the email field is not empty this one here is also on the email field except we're checking to make sure if it's a valid email address all right username we're checking to see if it's not empty password same thing and then we're taking the password to and we're calling dot equals and then pass in what it should equal with which is the first password field alright so that's what's gonna check that now down here we need to figure out what we're gonna do if there are errors and what we want to do is re-render the form so res dot render we want to render users slash register except we want to pass along the errors so the second parameter will pass them along okay and just for now I'm just gonna change this to past if it works alright now let me just show you what happens now whoops what's this fail to look up users register oh, oh I did that wrong this right here should just be register All right, so if we go back and we try to submit, you can see it's not letting us, which is what it's supposed to do, but it's not telling us anything. We get no messages, so we have to fix that. So what we'll do is we need to go to uh, register.handlebars. We'll go right under the heading here, and we're going to paste this in. 
All right, now the first thing we're doing here is checking to see if we have errors. And if you look back here, we passed them in right here. So we're checking for that. If there are, then we're going to loop through them using each errors. And then for each one, oh, you know what? This is the wrong HTML. That's for a different framework. Uh, we want to use bootstrap alerts. So we're going to say div class alert. And let's do alert danger. All right, and then in here, all we want is uh, double curly brace MSG. All right, so that should spit out the errors. So let's save that. Okay, and then let's submit. And now you can see we get all of our errors. If I put something in the name field, that name is required disappears. All right, and if we do everything correctly, Let's see password need to they need to match and submit and over here you can see we get passed all right so validation is good now we want to uh, discuss what we're going to do if it actually passes so we're going to want to create a new object we're going to say var new user and we're going to set it to new user now we didn't we haven't created the model yet so uh, we should probably do that first, actually. All right, let's do that first. So let's go to models and then user.js. And we're going to first include mongoose. And we're also going to need bcrypt so that we can hash our passwords. And you want to make sure you set that to bcrypt.js. All right, then what we'll do is call mongoose.connect and we're going to pass in our database. So uh, MongoDB localhost slash login app. All right, and this should be in quotes. Okay, then we're going to create a variable called DB and set that to mongoose.connection. Now what we need to do is set our schema. OK, so it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to paste this in. We have a variable called user schema. We're setting it to mongoose.schema. We have a username, which is going to have a type of string. We're also going to give it an index. And then we have password, email, and name, which are all strings as well. So really simple. Now what we need to do is create uh, a variable that's going to that we can access outside of this file. So we're going to say user equals module dot exports equals mongoose dot model. And we want to pass in the model name, which will be user and also the uh, user schema variable. All right. Then what we need to do is we're going to have all of our user functions down here. All right, so first one is going to be to create the user. So say module dot exports dot create user. OK, that's going to we're going to set that equal to a function. OK, and that's going to take in two things. It's going to take in new user and also a callback function. All right, now down here, we need to use bcrypt to hash our password. All right, and I'm getting this code right from uh, right from the documentation. Let's say bcrypt.js. OK, so we want this right here, this gen salt, and then call this hash. So let's copy that. OK, we'll paste that in. Now, this is good. That's that's what we want um, right here. We're saying bcrypt.hash and then this is where we'll pass in the password. OK, we'll say new user dot pass. Uh, oh, password. OK, then we're putting in the salt and then the function. And then in here, what we'll do is we'll set 
new user dot password equal to the hash. All right, and then we'll save it. So new user dot save. And you want to pass in callback. All right, just like that. So let's save it. Now we can go back to our user's route file and go back down to uh, where we're going to actually enter the user. So we want to say var new user equals new user, which is coming from the model, uh, which we have to include up above. I'll do that in a second. All right, so in here we want to put in curly braces. We're going to say name, email. Okay, username and password. Okay, now let's create this variable up here. Okay, we're going to say var user equals require. Okay, we want to go up one directory, so dot dot slash models slash user, and this should be in quotes. Okay, back down to here. Now we can call that create user function that's in the model. All right, so this is going to take in new user that we just created and then the callback. And what we're going to do here, we'll just check for the error and then just throw if there is one and then we'll just console.log the user. Okay, and then after that we want to set a success message. Okay, so we're going to say rec.flash. And for this first parameter will be success underscore MSG. And then the actual message will say you are registered and can now log in. All right, and then we just want to redirect. So we'll say res.redirect. And let's go to um hmm. We'll go to the login page. So slash users slash login. Now in order for this error this uh, message to show, we need to add a placeholder in our template or our layout. So let's go to layouts and then layout.handlebars. We're gonna go right above the body here. And I'm gonna paste in three separate things, okay? Let me just fix this. All right, so this first one, we're checking to see if there's a global variable called success MSG. And if you remember, that's what we set in app.js right here. All right, so what we're essentially what we're doing is checking for these three. All right. Um, if they if they are there, then we're going to uh, oh this is wrong again this isn't the bootstrap all right let me just change this real quick we want to say div class equals alert and this is a success message so we're gonna say alert success and then whoops in here we just want that. All right, now I'm going to copy that. Paste those here and this one is going to be alert danger. And this should be error message. And then this one will also be danger. And this will be just error. All right, so hopefully that works. Let's save it. And I think everything should be good. So let's go and restart the server. Okay, we're getting an error. Try to open unclosed connection. Unhandled error event. Um, all right, let's take a look at the model user.js. 
Oh, you know what? We don't need this because we have it in our app.js, I believe. Yeah, we have it right here. So it's just giving us that error because we have it twice. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Okay, so now we'll go to localhost 3000, we'll go to register, put in a name, put in a username, email, password, and submit. User is not defined. Okay. Users, what did I do? Oh, this should be an uppercase. Okay, let's try it again. You are now registered and can log in. Okay, now we can't log in yet because we haven't created that functionality, but the registration looks like it's working. You can see it echo it console logged uh, our user. And just to triple check, let's go to our Mongo shell and we'll say db.users.find. And there it is. So we have a generated object ID, our name, email, username, password, which is hashed. And that looks good. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll stop here now that we have registration set up. In the next video, we're going to work on the login, which is a little more uh, complicated. We need to create a local strategy, and we need to do some other things. So I will see you in the next part.